You've probably heard the term insulin sensitivity, whether it's from your doctor or maybe an article or a video you watched, but you don't really know what it means. Let's solve that today. Hi everyone, my name is James Marin. I'm a holistic registered dietitian, environmental nutritionist, author, speaker, and diabetes expert. Welcome to another video. Thanks for clicking, thanks for watching. We're gonna define a term called insulin sensitivity, and we want you to understand what that means, okay? So this is a key analogy to understand, no pun intended with the key thing, but insulin is like a key, okay? We eat foods and that goes into our bloodstream as glucose. It's basically sugar, okay? Now, what allows that sugar to feed our brain and our kidney and our pancreas and all the cells in our body? Well, it's insulin. So I want you to think of insulin as the key to unlocking the door of your cell and allowing that sugar in your blood to then be used by the cell. That's basically what insulin is. Now, insulin sensitivity is a good thing, okay? You want to have a good insulin sensitivity because that means your cells realize they're receptive, that insulin is there, the door appears, and insulin, just like a key, can open the cell and allow glucose to go in. So the better your insulin sensitivity, the better you are able to open your cells and let glucose in, and your cells can use glucose, okay? Diabetes isn't the issue of your cells using glucose. It's the issue of your cells not using glucose. What we don't want to happen is your cells are an, unable to use glucose and the glucose just stays in your blood. That is diabetes. So I want to be very clear. It's not that your cells are using too much glucose. Diabetes happens when your cells, whether, and this for a number of reasons, okay? but. Most likely you're eating too much sugar and there's just too much sugar for your cells to use and the sugar stays in your bloodstream and it causes damage. That's what we don't want to happen. We want your cells to then take in that glucose and your body to use that glucose for energy and that's gonna require insulin. And that requires your body to have good insulin sensitivity. So hope that makes sense. Hope that clears some things up and you learned something today. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you want to learn more, if you want to learn ways on, well, how do I get my insulin sensitivity, you know, better? You know, how do I have my insulin work and how do I use my glucose and make sure I'm not gaining weight or I'm not having high A1C numbers? Click the link below in the description and learn. Take the next step to beat your diabetes, to reverse your diabetes, to get off medication, to feel better. This is backed by 85 years of, of peer-reviewed research. This is backed by my own patients doing great with the information I provide them and really taking their lives, taking their health into their own hands and regaining their life back, right? Regaining their nutrition back, regaining a sense of, wow, I can do this. I can beat diabetes. Okay, so thank you guys so much. Share this with friends and family or anyone you think that needs to understand more about insulin sensitivity. And as always, have a wonderful day.